Hey guys, Steven here. Just wanted to show you guys a couple things. I finally did the uh, install on the Mishimoto catch can system here. And uh, while I did this by myself, the install, I didn't have two hands, so I couldn't record the whole process. But I took some pictures and I'll uh, put them in here as I describe some things for you guys. So the first thing we're gonna look at here is the actual catch can. You guys can see where I actually placed it. Sitting right back here behind the power steering fluid so the one thing is to get it in here guys you have this wire right here this wire actually runs down right where the catch can is like right down here it has some clips on it which I can't show you but they look like this right here some clips just like this that go like this right here so it's clipped in directly into the body so it has three clips, one, two, three, and then one way down at the bottom. So there's three here. All I did was I unclipped those, to unclip them, I use a flathead. And also, if you go into the wheel well, way down under here, uh, the back end of the clips are there. You can just use some pliers, squeeze that in, and then pull the, uh, pull the wire out from the top while you're doing that. It's easier if you have two people, for sure. It took me a while. So that was the first thing, move that out. Use the self-driving screws to put it in the back of here. I drew, use the self-driving screws, two holes to attach the actual uh, support right here. And I uh, did a lot of testing to make sure this was actually gonna fit before I drilled the holes. After we drilled the holes, put the actual catch can in. And then uh, the British stainless steel, this is the 8-8AN braided stainless steel line from Jegs. From Jegs. Um, six feet is what I bought. You don't need that much, but it comes below that. I think it's three feet, which that's not going to be enough. So I bought the six feet, and this is what I used to cut it with. Right here. And you can see right here, it specifically says, not for steel. Well, guess what I used it on? That's right, I used it on steel. So, that's what I used. What I did was I just measured out how much I needed, and then I taped the ends, put tape on the ends of it, and then just use, uh, use that right there. Just, just cut it off, and as you can see right here, I'll show you, I'll tell you why. This has a clip, this doesn't, but uh, it's kind of braided right there. I'm gonna have to go back and just fix that up real quick. It's serrated at the end right there. Um, but here's the actual thing I just wanted to show everybody. Uh, so the actual clips I bought, these Spectra clamps I bought, fits perfectly right here on the lower plenum. It fits perfectly on the PCV valve down here. And I actually installed a brand new PCV valve too. I'll show you a picture of that. And then also, it fits, so if you look right here, you'll see two different colors. You see black, and back here you see, uh, see chrome, see shiny stuff. So, the reason for that is, I went to AutoZone, I don't like this plastic piece. This plastic piece comes with the Mishimoto catch cam. I don't like this plastic piece, uh, I, I just don't like it. I don't like using plastic if I can avoid it. So this right here is... A, I don't know if it's aluminum or stainless steel. Uh, it's a 3 8 inch MPT to 3 8 hose. But it's camp stock is a 3 8 MPT to a half inch hose. So it's a little bit smaller. So the clamp actually fit on the 3 8 The clamp will not fit on the half inch. So that's why you see just this clamp and not the uh, Spectra clamp that I bought. Spectra clamp, the end piece right here that I said that pops off, you can put a screwdriver here, just pop this end piece off, that will not fit over the half inch. So I just had to clamp it for now. I'm going to see how this one holds up. I'll do a video in the future to see how it holds up. If it works, there's no leaks or anything. It's a smaller, it's 3 8 instead of the half. So as long as it works, I'm going to buy another one of these and replace this crappy plastic piece that came with the actual kit. Other than that, as you can see, the reason I ran it under here, I did this design for the PCV valve, I wanted it to run high like this. The reason I wanted it to run high 
was for any run back that we get in the system. Uh, so anything that doesn't, that's pushing up, that doesn't quite make it up the hose, it's gonna just run right back in. Uh, you don't even have to worry about it getting to the actual catch can. Other than that, everything went really smooth. Um, I tried fitting it back here, but the actual getting the, the screws in back there was gonna be a pain in the butt. So uh, this was really the only place I could find that would actually fit really well. But uh, that was my setup, guys. I hope you guys liked everything. Uh, if you have any questions about anything, uh, like I said, I know I couldn't do the actual, <clears throat> I couldn't do the actual, you know, install video because I was by myself. So I didn't have two ants to do the actual install video for you. But uh, that's the whole process. That's what I went through for the whole thing. Clamps, the actual catch can system, the hoses. Uh, had to piece everything together myself. So I really hope you guys liked it. Um, leave any comments, concerns, good, bad. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and we're gonna get this, gonna get this ugly piece of crap fixed up here pretty soon. Uh, we'll see how this holds out. So other than that, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. That's the end of my uh, Mishimoto catch can system. I am leaving the cover off because I, I'd rather look at the engine than the cover. That's how much I hate the plastic piece. But uh, but yeah, hope everything. Hope you guys liked the whole video, and uh, if you saw what you like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later for uh, my next project on the G. All right, guys, have a great day.